Hi guys, welcome to Studio Sonic. Today we'll be finding out what's new with the new Infinite Warfare Zombies and let's see what it has to offer. Let's jump in. Let's start off with the new map. The new map's called Spacelands, which obviously is in outer space. Now sometimes the zombies can appear to be clowns. Now with it being brand new zombies you'd expect some new things. So, you now get dollars instead of points. You get a sticker which represents which character you are. The starting weapon, this time around, it's a 3 burst pistol called the Hailstorm, which reminds me a lot of the B23R from Black Ops 2. So instead of rounds, you get scenes. Now the magnificent M1 rifle returns to zombies, which is brilliant and it's such a good gun at low round. This gun is in the starting room, you can get it off the wall, so as soon as you jump in you can get that gun and start firing. Now let's talk about the brand new things you can get that you have to pick up parts for. So. First off, you can get the N31L, the Exquisite, the Head Cutter, the Face Melter, the Discord, the Shredder, and the Seti Com. Now, what does this mean? What are these? What do you guys think they are? Leave a comment down below. Now, one thing that I find a bit strange and can't figure out what it is, is sometimes these little boxes spawn on the floor. Now, sometimes you can pick tickets up from them, or even an ammo. What can these tickets be used for? Maybe it's for the new games room, so when you die, you, instead of just going down, you get to go to a games room where you can play lots of games and you've got to get a thing called soul power. When that bar fills up to the top, you can go back through the self-revive door and get yourself back in the action. But what games can you play? Well, let's find out. Now the first game you can play is called Rings of Saturn Basketball. And basically, you just throw the ball into the hoop and score some points. This is what it looks like. Next we have Cryptic Attack, which basically all you do is throw balls at some alien teeth and knock them down. Once you've got all the teeth out, that is when you score your points. This is what it looks like. Then we have Zombie Zoom, and all you do is shoot the target with your water pistol to make your character run across to the other side, and you've got to be the first to get to the finish line. This is similar to what it looks like. Another game is called Bowling for Planets. You bowl your little balls up a ramp into different size holes. The smaller the holes, the bigger the prize. This is what it looks like. Now the other one is called the Black Hole. On its own, it moves a pipe and there's a ball in the pipe. Now when the time's right, you have to press a button which releases that ball into different alleys. So there's different alleys which are different points. The points range from 1 point to 5 points to 10 points to 50 points. Unfortunately I couldn't find any pictures to show you guys, but it's pretty straightforward. The last games that I seen was Spider Fighter, Robot Tank, River Raid 2, Pitfall 2 and Demon Attack. Now these just looked like normal games that you'd find in the arcade. It was just 4 buttons and a joystick. This is what this looked like. Now playing these games actually has a reason. You get a thing called soul power which is a little bar and you need to fill it up to the top and then you've got to find the self revive door and then you can get back into the game and start shooting again. Something else is, which is pretty cool, in the bottom right hand side of your screen you get that little circle like you get in Black Ops 3 that does your super. Now what does that mean? So once you charge it up, you click up on the d-pad and you bring up some cards and you burn them with your fingers. Now could this be some sort of speed boost or stamina boost or hit boost or maybe another weapon or maybe a hidden perk, who knows. Now all of the standard perks are still there from Black Ops 3, nothing's changed like that. Except there is one new one which I noticed which is called Infinite Grenades and as you can imagine all it does is give you infinite grenades. Now you can pick up a thing called a souvenir coin. Now I'm not really sure what that does, but it could be the start of a brand new easter egg. Now as soon as you reach scene 10, a huge zombie spawns and is a lot more powerful and a lot quicker than the rest of the zombies. But how does it attack you? Well it doesn't just hit you, there is a massive laser that comes from his eyes and it burns you very quickly and you die very quickly. So it's probably best to get him out of the way and get him killed soon. 
Just a few other things before I go. Instead of knifing this time, all you can do is slap the zombies in the face, which I don't think is going to be very good. One cool little feature is the slides all around the map. So if you get stuck and there's a slide near you, all you do is click X or square and it'll get you down that slide and you'll be away from the zombies. One final thing I've noticed, which is obviously on every zombies game, is there is a power switch which will be connected to the easter egg, so make sure you look out for that one. Well that's it from me guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learnt something new, and who knows, I could see it in the new Infinite Warfare. I'll catch you in the next one.